Hey guys, today I have a new whole collection project pan update. Um, I'm really excited. We have one, two, three, four, five products rolling out. We have five products staying in, which means we get to roll in five new products. Lots of fives today. Um, I'm excited because I am ready to play with some new stuff. Um, I definitely did like a nice, a playful like green sparkly eye it never shows up as intense as it is in person but i'm really loving it um and i will talk about this palette in friday's video this should be wednesday's video if i'm not off schedule um but it was my um uh, color pop aura and out palette and i'm going to be filming that video next in it, my panel's eyeshadows enough rambling let's get right into it so I don't remember like the exact order that these all rolled out but I'm just going to go in order of how they are on my notebook so um the first product that we were using was my pixie um lid lash shadow pen in shell sheen and my goal for all of my products is either use it 30 uses or hit pan if it has a pan, whichever one comes first. So 30 uses, like basically is my goal for everything. And so we were working on Pixie Shell Sheen. We did finally use this 30 times. We had to use this only six more times from last update. So this one rolled out pretty quickly. And we did make a little bit of progress on the paper. This pencil is really old, so it's pretty dry. Um, but we got a little tiny bit of use in 30 uses. I don't think I will ever be able to finish this off. This is one that it will probably just have to get decluttered eventually once it's completely dried out. But I'm glad I was able to get some good use on this one. But now it can get put away. I need a bottle. Okay. The next item that we used for our 30 uses was my ABH Pink Champagne Lipstick. I'll swatch like the things staying in and the things rolling in, but not the ones rolling out. But this is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty nude shimmer. You can tell we got some good use on this guy. And we previously had used it nine times. So that means we had to use it 5, 10, 15, 21 more times this update to be able to roll this out with our 30 uses. And here is the progress on the paper. So we had a little bit of progress in the blue update and now we're in the green update. But there is still quite a bit left in there. This is like a almost brand new lipstick. Um, it's one of my newer lipsticks, I should say. Okay, so that will be rolling out. We used it 30 times, like I mentioned. And then we have another roll out. We actually have my Becca and Barbie Ferreira face palette rolling out. We were using the shade Hued. And I was using this as a cream blush try to fold the mirrors back and it is this bright red shade right here on oh no that red shade pops out too let me just try to put this back in these are like cream products but like just kind of smush it smush her back in there okay things like that always happen to me on camera all right so I won't I'm not gonna tip it again. But you can tell there are some good like brush marks and stuff. Um, I will do a close up of this so you can see it better. But we did use the red shade 30 for 30 uses. And I also dipped around into that gold that fell out. The like more darker gold, I used that one a few times. I mixed them together quite a bit. And I also used this one as a face highlighter quite a bit. The purple, I tried as a cream blush once. It wasn't like a favorite. It was kind of cool, but... And then I don't think I got to using the white blue shifty shade. Um, I want to use the purple and that blue on my eyes sometime, but I didn't get a chance to do that this update. But this guy will be rolling out. I'm going to put away before I make more of a mess. 
And previously we had used it 10 times, so we had to use this 20 more times this update. I feel like, I mean, this is exactly like one month that I'm filming it, but it just feels so weird because I feel like that rolled out such a long time ago. Anyway, the next item that is rolling out is my Morphe eyeshadow. And this is the uh, Morphe 35T palette. This is the shade number 23. And this is what it's looking like. A little bit of a dip, but not too much. Um, I did use this 30 uses. We previously had 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 uses. So we use this an additional 11 uses, right? Something like that. Um, to reach our 30 use goal. I used this on the lower lash line a lot. I used it on the outer corner quite a bit and like kind of dragged it into the um, outer half of my lid. I think I used this in the crease a few times. Um, it was really pretty and I liked working on this color. It's a little darker than I'm that I'm than I was used to playing with like for summer, but I did really enjoy that one. But that is now getting rolled out. The last product that is getting rolled out is my Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. This I only had to use five more times to use it 30 uses. Um, this update. I do like this mascara. It's a little bit more like wet than I like, but it's been sitting in my drawer for a while now. I haven't used it since rolling it out of this project. Um, so maybe it'll be a little bit more dry now, but I am going to be rolling this over into my main project pan. So you'll see that in the next update for that video. But for the la the past month, besides the five uses, and for this coming month, I'm gonna just kind of leave this one off to the side until it rolls in at the end of this month to that project. So I'm gonna be back to focusing on my other mascaras for the time being, but then this will roll in, like I said, to that project pan. Okay, now let's move on to things that are still in this project and then we'll get to roll in some new stuff. But first on our list is my ABH Blush Trio. And we have the shade Nectarine, which is this one, but I pretty much just mix all three of them together every time I go to use this. I only used this five, six, seven, eight, nine more times this update for a total of 16 uses so far. I'm trying to finish off a different blush and then I'm going to go back to this one. Um, I do really like this one. I'm just like so close at finishing my other blush, spoiler for that project, um, that I want to finish that before going back to this one. So this has 16 uses. I do have the goal of finishing this one with 30 uses for next update. We'll see if we can get there. And then we have another blush that I just rolled in last time. This is the Caitlyn Jenner and MAC Blush in Buddy. You guys, I only used this one time. This is what this one looks like because I wanted to switch my focus to getting a little bit of use on this one so that this one could roll out for next time. And then I've just been focusing on the blush I'm trying to finish. So this one is just going to kind of sit around for a minute. It's a really pretty color for fall, so I'm not too, too worried. I just mix the shimmer and the matte together usually. Um, but yeah, I want to finish my one blush and then I will finish my 30 uses on this blush and then we'll get to this one. Um, I might kind of interchange these ones a little bit but my main focus will be this one once I finish off the other blush. Lots of blush happening. Ooh, a little overwhelmed with blush. Um, but luckily since we do still have two in this project we won't be able to roll in a new one. Okay, continuing on. 
Last update, we also rolled in an eyeshadow palette. So we rolled in the OPV Beauty Spotlight palette. This is a brand new palette to me. I did use this already, five uses for my five uses project just this past month. Um, and we're working on the shade Dream. We used it 16 times this update. So it's this bright, bright blue color. And we're getting a little tiny bit of a wear down on the imprint. I've been wearing this on the lower lash line every single day. And then occasionally I will wear this like kind of in the crease lid outer corner area. I do have it on today, but then I really blended it away because I didn't like how that looked. Um, so yeah, but I've been getting my daily usage of this on the lower lash line. So that's mainly how I've been using it. Every once in a while, I'll put it on the crease if I'm doing like a kind of bluish look. Um, yeah, so I will definitely be able to have this guy rolled out for next time. So that will be exciting. I don't think I'll be able to hit pan at all. I'm not very close to a pan or anything. Um, but I think we'll be able to get some good wear on it. Yes. <laughs> Okay, two more products. We have my AOA Studio Wonder Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Faded. And I wore this five, six, seven, eight times. This is a very, very brownie nude shade. So I do mix it. And I've been mixing it with this liquid lipstick that I'm trying to use up. This is ColourPop Strip. I don't think they make this anymore, but it's kind of like a warm tone um nude so I do like a couple dots of each of these and then top it with either another lipstick I'm panning or lip gloss or something over top but I do have eight uses on this guy we're gonna keep using this and try to get um I'm gonna try to use this every day this month and maybe we can get this guy rolled out I'm not quite sure if we'll get there or not this is the last product that's in this project and this one's pretty exciting this is my alginist um, reveal uh, luminizing drops in rosé. Um, so this is what it looks like. I have it on today. I've been wearing this every single day. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27 uses on this guy. So I only have to use it three more times. And it's so thick that like the drop, it doesn't work as a dropper. It just is all on the wand. So I just scrape some on the back of my hand and use it that way, which means that this is definitely getting older. I have another shade of this as well. I feel like I'm talking so fast. Um, but I believe we are down to like the three. It doesn't settle because it is so thick. But last time it was up here by the five. And now if you can tell by like scrape marks, it looks like it's kind of like downish, down to here somewhere, maybe. Um, so I'm very happy with the amount of use that I've gotten on this guy. And maybe next year this will go into my Partners in Cream project pan that I'm going to start. Um, I think that that would be a good idea to get this guy used up uh, sooner than later. So, only three more uses on this guy to go. This will definitely be rolled out next week. <laughs> um, well, it'll just free up some space in my drawer, but that one will stay in for the time being. Now... Let me do, I forgot to do swatches. So let me swatch all the stuff that's staying in and we will be right back to draw in some new items. Okay, so here is everything swatched out. We have the ABH blush in Nectarine, the MAC blush in Buddy, um, super light, light swatch of that. Um, OPV Dream, um, uh, AOA liquid lipstick in, what is this, Faded. And then the highlighter in rosé. So that is everything that is staying in. Now we need to roll in five new items. I'm going to wipe this off just because I don't want those liquids touching everything. Hey, it is time to roll in some new items. So just an overview. Um, we already have two blushes, so we cannot pull in any more powder blush. Everything else is fair game. We can only do 
one more powdered eyeshadow, one more liquid lipstick, and one more cream highlighter, but basically everything is fair game. So let's get into it. I can actually unplug this. It's been charging for a while because I've been talking a long time. All right, my max is 3539. 3539. Um, I bought stuff from BoxyCharm. I bought a ginormous another order from ColourPop. Um, those hauls will be going up later this month. So we have a lot of new stuff that we can potentially roll in. They're already in my spreadsheet. So I kind of hope we don't get any of that stuff yet though, because I just want to be able to play with it. But anyway, we need five items. Let's get going. 248. Let's see what that is. A248. What is it? Okay, interesting, interesting choice for this upcoming fall. It's more of a summer product. This is the e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzer in Sun Kissed. It's a very shimmery bronzer. Um, okay, we're actually not panning a bronzer, so I would probably use that more as a bronzer topper, but let me write that down. All right, let's pick another. 396. We're getting some older items. All right, and there is our eyeshadow. This is the Fiona Styles Artist Eyeshadow Quad in Electra, and it's the purple shimmer shade. So let me write this one. So no more eyeshadow. We'll see uh, how that goes. Five, seven, three. Okay. We have the Palladio Lip Liner in Nutmeg. We're getting some good different stuff. We need two more items. Come on. Here's a new so something new. 31.59. That is an eyeshadow, so we have to keep roll again. Another new one. Oh, wow, this is brand new. Actually, um, I need to see if that's a blush or a highlighter. This is brand new from my boxy charm that I just unboxed. The Blink Glow Getter Face Palette in Empowered. Let me check really quick if that's a blush or a highlighter. If it's a blush, we can't do it, but if it's highlighter, we can. Okay, I'm back. It is a highlighter, so we will include that one. That's fun. 986. Another bronzer. Oh boy, okay. This is the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette in Medium Mocha. Okay. Let me go grab all this stuff and we will be back in a minute. Okay, we are back. Two more palettes to add into my very full desk drawer. <laughs> but that's gonna be okay, I guess. Actually, three more palettes. Ooh. All right, it's gonna be a little stuffed in here, but that's all right, let's get into it. So first, we drew the e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzer. This is what it looks like. It's definitely more of like almost a highlighter for me right now because I'm very tan. And actually, it will be a really nice highlighter. Um, okay, we're gonna call this a highlighter, actually, not a bronzer. So there is that. Interesting. Yeah, I'll definitely reach for that as a highlighter. And this will be 30 uses or pan. I don't think we'd be able to hit pan on this as a highlighter. It is very, very soft, even just swatching it, like, 
it like completely erased the elf logo um but with like a little highlighter brush it definitely will not this is the shade sun kissed um yeah the packaging kind of sucks this i probably like i mean i'll probably just leave it like this but this is something that i could easily depot maybe i will i'm not sure anyway this is item number one That's gonna be a highlighter. We're gonna call it a highlighter. Okay, and then we picked the Fiona Styles eyeshadow, and it was the purple shade, the purple shimmer. Ooh, it's dark. This is the palette. This is the Electra palette. Um, so the purple shimmer is this one. Very dark color. It's pretty though for fall. That I will most likely use as a liner or an outer corner color. That's pretty. Okay, so again, 30 uses or pan. It's gonna be 30 uses. Unless I'm really digging into it with a liner brush, maybe I could hit pan, but I'm gonna say 30 uses on this guy. And then we got the Pal Palladio Lip Liner in Nutmeg. And this is like a reddish color. So this is going to probably take me a while. It's a really nice fall color though, actually. This would be pretty just all over the lips with like a lip gloss over it. So that might be how I wear that one. Really pretty like fall toned like spicy orange color and then let's see what else do we pick we have two face palettes we have my brand new one i haven't really even swatched this palette this is the blink glow getter face palette i just got this in boxy charm you would have just saw that video a couple days ago um and this is the palette here so top row down here is blushes and then the bottom row is all highlighters so we rolled in we rolled in empowered which is this shade there it is down there definitely a little bit more icy than that one but maybe i'll wear them together wear this one and then top it with this one and i can get like my uses in there quicker but those would look really pretty mixed i think so here is the shade empowered I will have close-ups of all of the powder products inserted as we go along. Hopefully I've already been doing that. But the last product that we picked out was from the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit in the shade Medium Mocha, which is actually the preferred bronzer shade in here. Let me get the brush out. I don't know what to do with this little thing. Probably won't ever use it. Okay, so it is this one which is the bronzer shade that I use in here because deep mocha, really, really dark. So we have a bronzer to work on. I've used this one a few times, but not too much. There that is right there, really pretty color. So oh, that is all of my new products. And I'm, I'm excited to get some new things in here to work on. We got like, basically two highlighters we have a bronzer which this one i might be able to even roll out um next month because i'm not working on any other bronzers right now um what else did we get we got a fun little eyeshadow and a very like perfect fall color lip liner so i am excited for this update let's see quick quick goals for next time i'm definitely going to have this highlighter rolled out. I only need three more uses on it. Mm. I would love to have my ABH blush rolled out halfway there on this guy. And then potentially the OPV palette. I'm like about halfway again on this one as well. So definitely some new fun stuff to play with. I hope you guys like this video. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe down below for more. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys.